Um, so my name is Mark Hardwick. Um, I'm an instructor here at Niagara College. Uh, I teach into integrated rich media projects. And that's part of the new media web design uh, program. So the way that um, the experiential learning uh, process works in my class is in a couple of different stages. Um, the first stage is that we actually look for the clients, so real world clients as opposed to a made up kind of project that we do in previous terms. And so we work through the client list uh, with Niagara Research and Innovation uh, to find mostly non-for-profits. Um, sometimes we use small businesses, uh, but mostly non-for-profits because I found the students uh, tend to like the non-for-profits more than a business per se. Um, so the process is that we um, send out uh, an email to partners across the region and into the GTA uh, asking if there's any interest for um, non-for-profits to basically get a free website. So that's the first stage and we do the interviews, we have them fill out an application form and we find clients that are uh, suitable for both our program um, and for the students. So there's two wins here um, in this and, and this is when I have my conversations with um, the prospective clients and I let them know that there's two wins here. One is for them because they're getting a free website and the other is for the students. But I really stress to them that it's more about the students uh, getting that experience with a real world client than them getting a free website. It's just a more of a bonus for them. Um, so once we sift through the interviews and we pick, um, depending on the amount of students we have, anywhere from usually five to seven clients per term, um, we send out um, more information to the clients so we can collect some information and then I compile a lot of information um, and make a brief for the student groups. So that's kind of the first part of it. Um, the second part of it is the actual students getting into it. So at the beginning of the term, the students get their brief, get their client. Um, the first meeting has already been set up for them. Um, the client is aware of that. And then the client um, meets with the students face to face in their first meeting and actually goes over everything they've talked with me about um, to give the students the full scope of what they're looking for in the project. Um, that way the students are able to kind of um, decide what the best course of action is and how they're going to do it. So as the process unrolls, the students are able to go all the way from the preliminary interview with their client um, all the way through to designing a fully functional uh, website that has a content management system attached to it. And we usually use WordPress because it is the industry standard now. There's about 30% of the world are on WordPress. So we usually uh, tend to go with custom WordPress builds. So the process starts, they have their interview, and then we go into concept development. They have another meeting with their client to approve the kind of concept. We're usually pretty good with that, um, along with my input that goes out uh, after approval. And from there, they actually build it out in HTML, CSS. So they need to, the HTML, CSS part of it is, is pretty simple. Um, the more difficult part for them is actually doing the research into their client and figuring out what are the, what's the client's brand? Do they have a brand? Are we developing a brand for them before we start? Um, what's this, what are they about? What are, what's their ultimate mission and what's their vision and what are their goals for this website, right? Because everybody can launch a website, but if you don't have um, you know, a, a vision for your website, it's just a pretty picture on the internet. So we have them go through all that process to dig through and figure out the proper solutions for them. And then they meet with their client again and they get a fully static website that doesn't have a content management system on it. And they go over the functionality with the client. And then the final meeting is where it's put into the WordPress CMS and they actually uh, train the client on how to use it so the client is free to go off and the student is done. 